Hello guys and girls, Screezilla here and I hope you're all well. So, today's video we're going to be talking about the turbo propeller engine, the turbo prop. Now, this is a bit of a different engine to what we have in most vehicles. It's basically a jet engine but for propeller aircraft, it's the easiest way to describe it. It uses the same principle as jet propulsion, but it drives propellers instead of a jet engine. The main reason for this is to add greater fuel efficiency. A turboprop is very fuel efficient, it's also rather quiet. Um, they're actually looking at using turboprop aircraft for close air support again now in 2017. There are a few close air support vehicles that are being trialled with turboprops because they're so efficient and relatively quiet compared to jet engines and standard propeller driven aircraft. They also have a much greater torque efficiency and speed rating. The other advantage is you can make a plane a little bit slimmer with it. So with that we're going to be talking about the Westland Wyvern. Because it's our turboprop plane. It also has a counter-rotating blade set up, uh, which is something I'll talk about in another video. So what we have in the Wyvern is a uh, Armstrong Sidley Python engine which sits here. And you look at it and it doesn't really look like much. It's just a big long tube. And that's pretty much all it is. So, what I will do now is I'll bring up an image of a turbo propeller engine. So, what we can see here is the turboprop itself. At the bottom here we've got the air inlet. Now on the Wyvern, it's all the way around. It's in a, it's the whole way around the circumference of the engine. This is where the cold air comes in. It goes in and it hits the first stage centrifugal compressor. Now the way a turboprop works is on Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So air going in, air being pushed out. Air goes in, air out, gives you the action of pushing it forwards. It's a little bit more complex than that because what they do is they actually compress the air. So here we can see the pipes pushing the air around and they make, they, they basically compress the air so it, it's um, the same amount of air but in a smaller amount. That then goes into the ignition chamber which is where they add fuel and uh, will light it up basically and this will create heat which will expand the air vastly. So you compress the air, make it smaller, then you make it bigger, and it expands to twice its size. Then this pushes the turbine axles. There we go. So on this demonstration photo, we have three of them. The first one would be to drive the compressors. That's all it's there for, is to make sure the compressors keep moving, to keep bringing oxygen in, well, keep bringing air in, keep making it smaller, keep compressing it, keep expanding it, that's all that's for. The uh, second two are your drive ones, and these are what make the engine go forwards. And then finally you've got the exhaust outlet, which pushes the hot air out, and that's all it is, it's just warm air going out. Another interesting thing about a turboprop is it has a much cooler efficiency rating. Um, so with a turboprop air aircraft, it doesn't have a very big heat signature. Okay, well that's interesting because it's very useful for modern anti-air weapons because they work on heat. So what we'll do now is hop back to the game. We're on the aircraft carrier and as you can see there we've got our turboprop in the front breathing in the air spewing it out the back through the rather large exhaust ports there and that's turning our propeller blades. So let's hop on board. We'll leave our canopy open for this. Flaps down. Rev her up. And off we go. Now as you can hear, 
a turboprop has a very different sound to a normal engine. It's got a very high pitch whistle, and that's because it's a jet engine. What we have here is a jet engine giving you acceleration to propellers. As I said before, it gives it a greater efficiency because you don't need as much fuel to create the thrust. In a jet engine, you need quite a lot of fuel to create the thrust, whereas with a turboprop, the thrust created from the, the small amount of fuel is enough to turn the propeller blades. With the contra-rotating blades, it gives it a much greater torque efficiency as well, so the plane pulls itself through the air much better in that respect. As you can see from the front, you've got that big loop around it, which is where the air is going in. The air is fed straight into there, compressed, a bit of fuel's added, it's set on fire, goes through the turbines, and then out through the exhaust port, which we can see. We just see a little bit of exhaust coming out there, not too much, because this is a relatively new engine. But that is what a turboprop is, and that is how it works. Okay guys, I hope you found this video somewhat interesting. Um, as I said, these are some of my quickie videos, I'm going to call them. Um, just a little bit of basic information on uh, smaller things, such as the turboprop, and uh, I was showing before the prior video was on the M2 medium tank with its deflector shields for its machine gun bullets. So if you have any items of uh, vehicles that you would like me to talk about in a bit more depth, learn a little bit about them, let me know and I'll try and help you out there as much as I can. Um, yeah, and we I will see you next time for another video. So, for now, this is Screezler out. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them. And uh, if you have any vehicles that you do want me to look at as well, just let me know and I'll have a look at them as well. And until next time, I will see you then. Thanks for watching all. Bye-bye.